everyone, welcome to this video where we're going to calculate some vertex facts, fast facts really, and you're going to have 10 seconds or less to be able to do it. So we need to make sure we know how to calculate the A value, the H, and the K of this form. Let's take a look. You're going to have 10 seconds to be able to answer each type of question. Um, you need to make sure that you watch the timer and be able to answer, and then I'm going to go right to the answer screen. Round one, simply just name the vertex. What is the vertex of the function? The answer is 4, 3. What's the vertex of this function? Answer is 5, negative 1. What's the vertex of this function? Negative 2, 5. Now remember, whenever you have x plus a value, it's really the opposite sign. So the h value of our vertex is negative 2, while the k value is still that 5. Next one. What is the vertex of this function? Negative 3, negative 1. Next, and last one, what's the vertex of this function? Okay, 4, 0. When you don't see any k value at the end, it means it's just 0. Round two, name the transformation from the parent function. So I'm going to give you a function, and you are going to tell me what do you know that means if I was to compare it to just simply f of x equals x squared. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, this function would mean that since it's x minus 4, it's positive four units to the right, and then up three units. The a value was just still one, so it didn't change its shape. But it's simply right four units, up three units. Next one, what's the transformation of this function? There's three pieces to this one. The five means right five units, the negative one means down one unit, and that a value of 2 means the graph is going to be narrower than the parent function. Next one. What would this transformation look like? Okay. x plus 2 really means it's x minus a negative 2. So that would mean the left 2 units. The plus 5 means up 5 units. And the 1 half would make a wider graph. Next one, transformation of this function. That means it would go left three units, down one unit, and it would be reflected vertically. So x minus a negative three turns it into that x plus three, so it's left three units. This is down one unit, and then the negative a value of negative one means it's going to be reflected vertically. Last one, what is the transformation of this parent function from the parent function? It simply means it's shifted four units to the right and it's narrower and it's also reflected vertically. So when you have an A value of negative two, it's a skinnier graph and it's reflected and it's not shifting up or down because of that plus zero. Round three, determine the equation in vertex form from the graph. So I'm going to give you a graph, and you need to figure out what's the vertex, figure out what the equation might be, and also determine the a value. Now, this one may take a little longer than 10 seconds, so I'm going to give you some time and then give you a little extra bonus time before I show you the result. First one's the easiest one. Determine the vertex and your a value. Since this one has a vertex of 0, 0, and an a value of 1, and I know it's an a value of 1 because I'm simply going from the vertex, I'm going out 1, up 1, out 1, up 3, and it's that plus 1, plus 3 rule, 
I know it's in line with my parent function and it actually is exactly my parent function. Next one, determine the vertex, that's your H and K, and then determine your A value. Okay, let's take a look. My vertex is two negative three, so it becomes X minus two, and then the K value is negative three, so it's minus three at the end. I also know my A value is still positive one because from the vertex, I'm going out one, up one, out one, up three, which is exactly like my parent function, which had an A value of one. Next one, determine this vertex and the A value. Okay, hopefully you have the vertex and the A value. The vertex here is negative three, one. So if I plug in a negative three for H, it becomes X plus three. The positive one at the end is good to go. Now, my A value is actually two because from the vertex, it's going up two. And if I was to continue this, it would go out one up six because instead of plus one plus three, if it's doubled plus two plus six, then I know my A value had to be two. And so this is what my equation would look like. Next one. Notice your vertex and then your A value. All right, so our vertex here is at zero, three, and our A value we should notice goes out one, down one, out one, down three. So that would mean with a vertex at zero, three, X minus zero, and then plus three at the end, X minus zero is just X, so that says X squared, my A value is actually a negative one. Notice this is a downward facing parabola. And if it's going out one, down one, out one, down three, it's not positive one, it's negative one. Last equation. Fill in your vertex. Determine your A value. This is a wider graph. All right, so for this one, hopefully we saw our vertex is at one, two. So that's easy to see, but now look at your A value. Your A value in this case is actually one half because it goes out one, up a half. Half is half of one. So instead of doing plus one plus three, look what it's doing. It's going out one, up one half, out one, up one and a half. So it's half of one and then half of three. So again, it's out one, up a half, out one, up one and a half which is an A value of one half. It's a wider graph. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to rewatch if you need more help.